I'm just going to show you some breakdown drills for the basic phases, laying the foundation of the offense. Um, just uh, we're going to start with phase one, just kind of show you how, <clears throat> how you can put it in and some different things that you can do with it, different skill work. Um, and and going to keep it very simple, very simple, but show you how you can start to build habits in players. So the first thing I need, the first thing I need is I need my big man and just one guard. Everybody else just step off to the side just real quick for me. So my one guard, start up top on the X. All right. So the first way we're going to start this off is this guard, he's going to drive. All right. And as he's driving, this big man's going to get opposite. It's important that this big man, when he gets opposite, never turns his back to the ball. All right. So he wants to, he, whenever he's getting opposite of the drive, all right, we don't want to turn this way, all right, and then try to see where the ball is. I want him to almost kind of, uh, C cut almost a little bit to where he's taking it underneath the rim, all right, and he's seeing the ball, hands are up, so then if the big goes to help, you can throw the lob. So go ahead back up top. Start on the X. Again, I want you to attack it straight downhill. I want a straight line straight to the rim. As soon as you see him starting to attack, you get opposite, throw it up to the big. All right, here we go. All right, it's got to be a little quicker, a little quicker, okay? A little quicker. What we would do normally with this is go ahead and give me another guard in. Go ahead and give me another guard in. All right. Just stand behind him in line. All right. What we would normally do with this is go ahead and drive it. Go. He gets opposite. We'd throw it up to him. I want you to throw a little lob. I want you to throw it to that outside corner of that uh, top spot. All right. So go ahead. Get opposite. That's it right there. Good. And then these two guys would be out. Our next person would be on with the ball. Then our next big would be on. He would drive it. Go ahead. He would get our next big would get opposite. So that way we're just getting constant work of this part of the offense. Constant work, and we're just ingraining that habit of that big getting opposite. You can drive it middle now. You can drive it middle now. Now you're just going to open up. You're going to throw it up high to him. Yep. And then we're going to change that. Then the next two players would step on. Next two players would step on, and it'd be the same thing. So now he's just working and understanding how to always stay opposite of the drives. You can start it from sideline drives, driving to the middle, or from the top, driving B gaps or A gaps. The next phase of this, the next way we would put this in is if I can get one guy. All right, if I can get one guy, and then um, again, what this would be is it would be a line of players. So actually, give me the two guys behind. If you can run and grab a basketball real quick while I'm talking. All right, so again, we'll have our post in, um, and we'll also move our post to the perimeter some also. So um, right now, I just want him to get the, get the feel of getting opposite, but I also want him to learn the guard stuff as well. Uh, we don't necessarily need the, the guards to learn the post stuff, but I would like to have the post learn the guard stuff a little bit. So right now, you're going to attack the B gap. You're going to attack the B gap, which if I'm playing defense on you is this gap. You're going to get opposite, all right? And as he's driving down, again, driving downhill, I want you to look how flat you just went. This is a mentality we got to get in our players, is you just went out this way and kind of rounded it off, went a little flat. I just want a straight line, all right? So I just want you to imagine a straight line going from right here. And you're, you should be driving it this way. So if you're a really good attacker, you should be passing at the elbow right there. Okay, so now you get below the drive line. You have to lift to the drive line. Remember, this lift needs to be wide. All right, needs to be wide right here. So you're stepping into your shot. Okay, so you're stepping into your shot right here. I want you to pitch out. Okay, so go ahead and pitch out. Lift, pitch out. You got to sprint out to that corner. All right, just like in phase one, just go ahead and take the shot. Okay, then the next two guys would be up. 